Hi guys, good evening. This is my party one. We are back to our latest topical weather analysis for this Wednesday to Friday, October 5 to 7, 2022. And this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000. Let's begin with our update. Here is the latest uh, GovSat that we issued this evening. For Wednesday until tomorrow, Thursday, the easterlies will continue to prevail across the uh, extreme northern parts of Luzon, including eastern Luzon, Metro Manila, Bicol region, parts of Mimaropa, and also eastern Visayas. Why, uh, while over to the south, across Mindanao, we have a surface trough with some thunderstorms as well, particularly in the afternoon or evening. So far, the Philippine Islands is uh, still uh, uh, free from any tropical uh, disturbances developing within the Philippine area of responsibility. It's all clear, no uh, LPA developing, as well as outside of PAR. We have only a couple of surface troughs, but nothing is expected to develop within this week. But next week, it's a different story as the computer models is... Uh, showing one to uh, two low pressure systems developing east and west of the Philippine Islands. We are going to show to you in a short while on the latest uh, uh, weather models. And also up here across the uh, East China Sea, we have the uh, strengthening northeasterly surface wind flow extending across Taiwan and the coastal waters of southern China. Watch out for possible uh, uh, landslides and flooding when you have this uh, heavy downpour generated by the uh, by these uh, localized thunderstorms embedded within the easterlies and the source and the surface trough of at Mindanao. Okay, so that's the uh, latest from our graph set. Here's the uh, fast animation. You can clearly see here the uh, surface trough of Mindanao and east release over uh, the Philippine, uh, over eastern, over the eastern sections of Luzon, including Bicol. And if we take a look at the uh, zoom in satellite animation as of this evening, you can still see these uh, thunderstorms roaming across the Philippine Islands, particularly over Mindanao, portions of the Visayas, and right here over eastern Cagayan. And if we uh, take a look on what will be the uh, rain of rainfall accumulation forecast for the next three days until uh, Saturday, we can... Uh, Expect more thunderstorms to uh, persist across Mindanao, Sulu Archipelago, Mimaropa, and the Visayas with isolated thunderstorms across the eastern sections of the zone, including the Bicol region. And if we take a look at the wind forecast for the next three days, by tomorrow Thursday afternoon, the easterlies will continue to uh, prevail across eastern Visayas up to eastern Luzon, including Batanes, Bawi, and Kobo Islands. And on Friday, we expect the winds will slowly shift more from the east, northeast, or northeast, affecting extreme northern zone and the eastern sections of uh, of uh, Cagayan, Aurora, and northern Quezon, as well as the Bicol region. And uh, if we uh, move into Saturday afternoon. Uh, northeasterly surface wind flow affecting uh, half of the Philippine Islands from the uh, areas of Batanes down to the Bicol region. And there is a possibility of a uh, increasing uh, surface trough here and a possible LPA to form by this weekend or early next week. Okay. And... Uh, if we move this uh, forecast into the uh, 8 to 10 day uh, period, you can clearly see here a low pressure system moving towards the Bicol region, passing over our area on Thursday, October 13, and on Friday it will be out into the West Philippine Sea. Based on the forecast of the European model, it's only a tropical depression or an active LPA. But uh, it's still uh, 7 to 10 days. So that's uh, 
merely uh, 0 to 20% probability. So we will know by um, next week if this uh, potential uh, system will push through but the formation of this uh, LPA is somewhat increasing up to 40% here over the uh, Philippine Islands as you can see on the latest global topics hazards and benefits outlook from the Climate Prediction Center issued for the next uh, three weeks so for week 2 valid October 12 to 18 uh, to the east of the Philippine Islands, we have 40% we have 40 uh, probability of a tropical cyclone formation and 60% probability of a tropical cyclone formation west of the Philippines or east of Vietnam or just along the uh, West Philippine Sea. So this is good news since it's already uh, away from the Philippines, but we are quite worried on this uh, potential uh, LPA to form east of uh, our country and we will keep you updated on that while the rest of the Philippine Islands will have 20% uh, of uh, will have 50 or more percent probability of a uh, above average rainfall while over at uh, Mindanao, Palawan uh, Sulu Archipelago it will be up at around 65% so expect this uh, high uh, or above average rainfall to persist for second week of October and for week 3 due valid October 19 to 25 the Philippine Islands will remain at more than or equal to 50% probability of above average rainfall while over at southern Palawan and Borneo it looks like uh, a uh, 65 or more than 65 percent probability of above average rainfall okay so far that's the latest right now from the uh, global topics hazards outlook and we will uh, bring you another uh, release by next uh, tuesday or wednesday and you will see if this uh, high increase of probability will come through so fox living in the philippine islands uh, we will uh, keep an eye always, uh, especially next week, for possible development of a uh, tropical disturbance or LPA east and west of our country. Okay, again, this is Mike Padua. See you again on Friday. And I hope you're all doing well. Uh, good evening. Good night. Uh, God bless to all.